Hey, what's up everyone? It's Simi Ram with Monster Gadgets here and I am joined by a special guest today. Uh, this is Monte. Monte uh, is my twin. So if you didn't know I had one, I guess you know now. Hey, what's up everyone? Imran here with Monster Gadgets and I'm going to do a quick tutorial for you today on how you can clone yourself and make yourself a twin. So let's dive into Adobe Premiere. Alright guys, so I've got my two clips here in Adobe Premiere. And what I did was I created one long clip, split it into two. So what that looks like is I've got myself here on one end. And then I've got myself on the other side, kind of reacting or, you know, timing myself to where I'm reacting to the other person. So you've got two separate clips here. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the first one and we're going to unlink it. So that way we can go ahead and make some room here, put this one up. Put this one down, drag this clip in between, same thing with this audio, drag it over, and now you've got one thing. But you're thinking, hey, I can't see this, right? You can't see the other person. So what you can do is just to check, you click on the first one, you go into your effects panel, and you can go into your opacity and turn that down to see where you're at in the frame. The other, obviously the other one's showing up, which is great. So we'll leave that at 100%. Uh, I'll go to the beginning here and what we're going to do is we're going to click on under opacity We're going to click on the draw tool here and we're just going to mix ourselves a quick box here basically toward the center of the frame and go all the way around And boom now you've got them side by side, okay and from here if you go back into your oops editing let's go ahead and get off of that click on this frame here and when you play it hey, what's up, everyone? you've it's got two both videos reacting together because one is layered on top of another now one thing you want to pay attention to is you might see a small little line here which shows that there's a break in the frame so what we can do with that is go back to your first video that you clicked on and you want to go ahead and feather that out and you'll see it slowly disappear as I go up you kind of feather it and then go down you can see it again go up feather it just a little bit and then to make it to make this also go away to make it a little bit more smoother let's go ahead and click on mask expansion so as you can see go to a point where it really kind of blends in together more like right around here or so that looks pretty decent you can't really tell um, there was a divider there if you go too far, so for example, I'm on 150 right now. If I go too far, you'll notice it'll start cutting into me. And you don't want to cut into yourself, so be careful about that. So we're just going to cut into where everything looks good. Just about there. Let go. So we'll leave it even at 220. And we'll quickly play it and see how it looks. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Simran with Monster Gadgets here. And I am joined by a special guest today. Uh, this is Monte. Monte uh, is my twin. So if you didn't know I had one, you know now. So when you guys do this on your own, I apologize, my laptop is not as quick, so uh, the video itself seems a bit glitchy when you do it, but when you put it in post and, and export it out, everything will look just fine. Uh, but that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more tutorials like this in uh, Adobe Premiere, let me know. Uh, comment below on what you want to see, and I can definitely put some other videos together for you on how to do some cool little camera tricks in, in post. So. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye.